Hi guys, in this video I'll be looking at variation, genetic variation, mutation, environmental variation, and finally a summary. Different organisms in the same species aren't exactly unique. There are differences between them. For example, if you look around a room of people, you can see that some people may be tall, whereas others may be short. Some people may have light hair, whereas others may have dark hair. Even identical twins have some differences between them, though they might not be immediately obvious. So these differences between people are called variation. For example, people might have different hair colours or heights, as I explained before. Different species have even larger differences between them, and the differences between them are easier to see. For example, a human looks a lot different to a dog. You'd immediately be able to tell the difference between a human and a dog, but it might be a bit harder to tell the difference between two humans that look similar. The variation within a species is caused by genetic variation as well as environmental variation. This means that what you look like depends on your genes as well as what's around you and where you live. It can also cause differences in your behaviour and your physiology. Everyone, apart from identical twins, has a unique set of DNA. Genetic variation, or the differences between genomes of different people, is due to the genetic material you inherit from your parents. You inherit these genes during sexual reproduction. So for example, you might inherit genes that determine your eye colour and blood group. For example, you might inherit blue eyes from your parents, or the blood type AB negative. Genetic variation arises from mutations and sexual reproduction. Mutations occur when DNA is replicated incorrectly. This causes changes to the protein encoded by the gene. Sexual reproduction also involves a fusion of DNA from the sperm and the egg, and this makes a new, unique genome. It causes alleles to be combined in new ways. Most characteristics aren't caused by one gene, but rather multiple genes interacting. And these all interact to give the observed characteristic. So mentioned briefly before that genetic variation can be caused by mutations. But what are mutations? Well, mutations are random changes in the DNA base sequence. So here you can see that the A has turned to a G, and this is called a mutation. This means that the gene can be altered, producing an allele or different version of the same gene. For example, this C here can change to an A, and this mutation creates a different version of the same gene. So we know that genes code for sequences of amino acids that determine the structure of a protein, and a change in the gene could lead to changes in the protein. So there's been a mutation in this amino acid, and that could lead to a change in the protein. This is because it may affect the way the protein folds up. So for example, if the protein was an enzyme, the enzyme might have a different active site and might not be able to carry out its job. However, most mutations have no effect on the characteristic or phenotype. Some influence the phenotype and a few determine the phenotype. Variation can also be due to the environment. Where you live and the events that happen to you have a huge effect on the way you look. For example, climatic conditions can affect the way you look, as well as injuries. Environmental variation covers any characteristic you gain from the environment and not from your genes. In other words, they are acquired characteristics. For example, if a tiger scratches a person, this person might get a scar. If it's really sunny, someone might become tanned. So I mentioned scars, injuries and getting tanned skin, but plants can also have environmental variation. And this includes having yellow and wilted leaves. And this happens if the plant loses too much water. Some characteristics are a mixture of genetic and environmental variation. For example, your state of health is a mixture of your inherited susceptibility to certain diseases, such as heart attacks, as well as your lifestyle, which is how much exercise you do and how balanced your diet is. 
so you may be at increased risk of heart attacks due to your family history. But you may be at decreased risk because of your lifestyle, for example if you eat a balanced diet. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.